Last week, it was revealed that June 2018 would indeed bring us a new Transformers film, but it will not be Transformers 6. Instead, it will be a smaller movie in the universe centering on Bumblebee, according to Paramount CEO Brad Gray. There are characters in the Transformers universe that can be and should be made into their own movies. We will make the first movie with Michael and go right into a Bumblebee movie, which will be at a lower cost. As of now, no director or writers have been attached to the project. Christian, is this smaller Bumblebee movie a good idea? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's like they're trying to do like the shared universe. And it's like I, I just can't tell with with. with yeah, it's, that can't. was the greatest answer in the history of know. movie talk. I mean, you got these notes at 8 a.m. this morning. I mean, I know you had story, three hours to ruin I know what the story is, but I mean, it's like, who the hell knows that the Bumblebee movie with Michael Bay attached is going to be good? I mean, come on. Christian, Christian's two favorite franchises are Transformers and, and the, the Chipmunks. No, oh, the ch the Chipmunks. Um, <laughs> they should cross over and we should see that movie. With Jai Courtney as Bumblebee. They have. It's called the Shitformers. It was the last one. Um, it, uh, look, I, I don't know, man. I mean, if, if it was... When they originally said like Stephen Knight and all these guys were coming together in the, in this writing room, and I was like, "Cool!" And then uh, Michael Bay is still directing. Boo! And then now they're gonna do a standalone Bumblebee movie. Okay, but what's it gonna look like? Like, what is it still gonna follow this? It's hard right now because four movies in, I don't care about this franchise, and it's still making a lot of money. I get a headache every time I watch it. The trailer tricks me every damn time. But when I go in there. On a standalone movie, is this their way to kind of maybe give new directors a take? If a brand new director comes in and does it, then yeah, I might get excited about it. But right now, I just there's too big of a stink on it. You're right. New directors could get a shot at making a Transformers movie that we actually want to see. But more importantly, that's what that writers' room when when Akiva Goldsman headlined that thing, and you had guys like you said, Christian, mm -hmm. Stephen Knight came in. They had all these great shared ideas, and then they find out Michael Bay is coming back to direct it, and he probably doesn't really care about what those genius writers came up with. He just wants to blow stuff up and drink Bud Light. But if all those guys have cool ideas going forward, maybe you can employ them in a Bumblebee movie. Now look, am I that excited to see Bumblebee in particular be the headliner of a movie? Not necessarily, but the fact that Michael Bay is going to be stepping away and not directing that, and it could be a smaller story, which I think we can all agree. As much as I love seeing the Transformers on screen and the effects look great, and some of the fight scenes are okay, it would be nice to see a smaller story told in that universe where not everything is about 1900 galaxies yeah. coming together to have this epic battle. Let's just have an adventure with Transformers. I think this would be the right way to go, at least in comparison to the huge Michael Bay franchise. I don't think it's a good idea, but I think it's going to make some money. I'm not Transformers money, but good enough. Yeah. My question, though, is here you have this character, Bumblebee, at least in, in terms of the movie franchise, not the, the cartoon or the animated series, that in the first movie didn't even speak, right? Right. And then the, the next three movies, I don't even remember what he, he talked did. talked in songs. Yeah, like yeah. I don't remember anything other than he was, he transformed into a cool car. Yeah. So, you know, you guys always have this debate on Jedi Council. You guys talking about spin-off anthology movies. Oh, man, should Han Solo have a spin-off movie? Have, should Obi-Wan? Should Yoda? Blah, blah, right. blah. Right. It's like those characters are like beloved and have like huge backstories and history to them. And Bumblebee, and, and as far as the movie's concerned, has nothing. <laughs> right. So why are they making a movie at them? That's that's my thing. I they're mean, I, 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 they're, yeah. they're reaching. I, I, but I hate playing the studio head in two stories in a row. But it's like if you're Paramount, that is your franchise. You know, well, that yeah, is Mission Impossible you, you, and Star Trek. Mission Impossible, which we don't know how much gas Tom Cruise is going to have yeah. left in the tank. Star Trek. The fans didn't love that show. Transformers is the most bankable property they have. Maybe Ready yeah, Player One, which they just acquired, is going to do something maybe they can revive indiana jones but until that time comes christian it's we're going to be stuck with transformers movies and maybe this is the best version of those stop it hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider